What's going on everyone? Garnet Waltz is here and I'd like to thank you for checking out today's question and answer video. If you have already subscribed, I'd like to thank you for your support and for checking out all these videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and also click on the little bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. So in today's video, I have a request to play the song Give Thanks using the 736-2514 chord progression and add some other concepts like substitution and put it in the key of E. Okay, let's get to it. So here's the song, Give Thanks in the key of E. So that's the song Give Thanks. Um, we're going to add in the 736-2514 progression to it now. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, I'm going to be in the key of E. All right. So now with each note in the scale, there's a number assigned to it. So E is 1. F sharp is two, G sharp or A flat, depending on who you talk to, is three, A is four, B is five, C sharp is six, D sharp or E flat, depending on who you talk to, is seven, and then E is a one again. So one place I think we can add that progression is the last part of that song, where it goes, So what I did there was I started off to the three, to the two, five. Now I could go to the one there, but instead I'm going to go to the seven. So. which is an E flat minor nine or a D sharp minor nine, depending on who you talk to. So that's the seven to the three, which is a A flat seven with a sharp five to C sharp minor nine, which is the six. Now, before I was playing a D major seven chord, which is a flat seven. But instead of going there, I went to the two. And then to the five and incest it. And became a B seven, right? Now, instead of going there, I actually have to go to the one. So, two now I go to the one instead 
and make the one a dominant chord. And then I go to the four, which is A major seven with the nine. So here it is again. Now, another thing you can do with some of these chords is just change the quality of them. So for example, if I were to go to the seven, where I played a E flat minor nine, I can make it a, an E flat half diminished. That changes the quality of the chord. And the reason why that works is because in the key of E major, the D sharp or E flat, the actual chord that goes with the seventh chord is a half diminished chord. It's also known as an E flat minor seven with a flat five. But in this case, I just put a little bit more color in there. Another thing that you can do is you can use something called a tritone sub. So a tritone sub is, for example, my A flat, the tritone sub is one, two, three, four, five, six half steps away. So I can use the note D as a substitution. It works really well for dominant chords. So for example, if I use that chord progression starting on the seven, I can do something like this. All right, so instead of playing that A flat, I can just use D. So tritone substitutions are also a good way to create variations in terms of harmony. Another thing that you can do to create some type of variety harmonically is using inner voice movements. So for example, if I start on the seven, what I can do is I can play something like this. Pretty much what I'm doing there, I'm playing I have E flat or D sharp in the bass, and then in my right hand I have C sharp, F sharp, B flat. So this spells out an E flat minor seven chord. So I'm just doing this move here. Like I'm in the key of C sharp. And that helps to create some type of variety because I'm just using an inner voice movement to kind of push the chord along to where it needs to go, which is um, eventually to C sharp minor. So. so here it is one more time. The progression, the seven, three, six, two, five, one, for progression.
Thanks for watching this video and I hope that you got a lot of information from this and be sure to take this information with all these chords and stuff and just put them in all the different keys so they'll all be familiar to you. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and press on that bell so you know when a new video comes out. And if there are any songs that you want me to break down for you, just type them down in the comment section below so I can check them out.